Okay guys, and we are now at another one of the historical Daytona sites that it actually used to be located more down towards the beach. It was usually, it was right, I remember seeing it on a swimwear store that used to be down there on Beach Street. And it's now been moved over here to the Daytona One Shopping Center, which is right across the Highway 92 from the International Speedway. But let me show you a little bit more about this historical site. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes The closest address that I could find for where the swimming lady had been moved to was 1870 Victory Circle. But I will drop the what three words location for you because we had a little bit of a problem actually finding her here for a little while. But this is her and ever since 1965, this 16 foot long diving lady has been suspended somewhere Driving in Daytona Beach. Days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. And as a child, I remember going to the beach and actually seeing her above the beachwear store that was located there. But it's right here in the middle where the splash pool is, which is thankfully not uh, operational right now because this is January that we're here. And uh, so you can see that she's been here been moved here and being well taken care of which makes me glad to see since I can remember her from being a child jumping from cliffs so high trust in our wings to fly sometimes we're crashing down but we get up and start from the ground really interesting if you pay attention to the signage that's here below this shows you the evolution of the Jansen diving girl over the years from the 1920s all the way up to the present and it's actually located right outside of the Four Rivers barbecue and Rock Bottom restaurant and brewery There she is. Even if the sky is falling. Down. You're amazing watching till the end and remember clicking and sharing helps others find the channel. So till next time guys, keep exploring life matters. See you later. Bye-bye.